Activists for Animals Africa reacted to a carte blanche TV expose of the cruel treatment of elephants in the Brian Boswell Circus. Within a week, they managed to motivate more than 250 supporters to voice their disgust at the circus venue in Pretoria. about the turnout of this protest. I mean, often one as an activist starts a protest going and hopes to get a handful of 20 people. And I think here today we have over 200 people and this for me is a real signal where things are going as far as animal rights and animal activism is concerned in South Africa. Last year when we did the McLaren Circus, we had barely 20 people. And it just shows that people are becoming more and more aware that we should not be confining, not be treating wild animals in this way simply for our entertainment. And this is what we're really trying to create the awareness here. We're also here because we would really like to have a ban on wild animals in circuses. In fact, we'd like a ban on all animals in circuses. But what we have seen globally is a trend to restrict or ban completely the use of wild animals in, in, in circuses. So if one looks at circuses around the world and one looks at what's happening in the United States and Canada, one will see a growing number of states and municipalities banning or restricting the use of elephants and, and other wild animals in circuses. Poor Costa Rica, Bolivia, um, Romania, all already have complete bans on the use of wild animals in circuses. We also see this happening even in the East. We see Singapore now with a complete ban. So this is a global trend. Human beings are seeing more and more that we should not expect animals to perform uncomfortable, unnatural acts. And all of this under great amount of stress and pain and deprivation. These animals cannot behave as normal an animals. Elephants socialize. There's a matriarch. They work in a crowd. They forage. They travel huge distances. The two female elephants, Temba and Wanky, who are here today, have lived their lives in pure misery. They've lived their lives to perform by standing on their hands or on their heads, which is incredibly painful for an animal, simply to give a few people in the circus tent behind us some joy. But what they don't look behind is what is happening in their treatment in order for them to perform the act. And almost all wild animals, including baboons and tigers, etc., would not perform without a huge amount of punishment and deprivation. The instruments in order to get these animals to perform are either bullocks, whoops, chains, beatings, and this is what we are seeing. We are going there to be entertained by animals who have been tortured, beaten and whipped simply to stand on their heads or jump through a hoop for us. Um, and as, as activists for Animals Africa, and in fact we stand here with many groups here today, who are simply saying that we will no longer stand by. And in South Africa, we are calling for a complete ban of wild animals in every circus. 
We are very concerned about what's happening with McLaren, that they will soon be applying for licenses for elephants. Um, this is something which we want to stop. We want to have a look at the licensing uh, permits and we want to look at how come so many magistrates simply rubber stamp wild animals to be convicted, if we can call that, to an absolute life of misery and torture. These animals should be released into sanctuaries and they should be set free. Free our animals, free them now. Free our animals, free them now. Free our animals, free them now. Free our animals.